Hi everyone, it's A Ticket to Christ. We're on the Hope series. We are reading Deuteronomy 28 from 1 to 14, and we're looking at God's blessings. Um, it says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shalt thou, shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thine thy kind and the fruit of thy sheep. Blessed shall be the, thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thine hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee in the holy, thee and holy people unto himself, as he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways. And all people on the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord sware unto all fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and, shall, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head, and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and, not, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left to go after other gods to serve them. Amen. So this is a very encouraging passage. Of course, it's Joshua talking to the nation of Israel as they were getting ready to take the land, the promised land. And um, But, you know, the Bible says that all the promises of God are also for, you know, believers, all Christians. So we also get these promises um, for those of us who are in Christ. Um, but it looks, it if you read it, it's a conditional promise. It's not just, oh, you know, this is what you get. It says here, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Right? So... I, you know, that's the context of it. So what is it that stands out for you the most with these blessings? It seems like it's a lot of blessings, you know, that you can count off and they seem to be really full. Like what, are, what, are, what stands out for you? For me, verse two is, is notable because it says here, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it's uh, the word bless, blessings, um, when I think of that word, I know when, when you look it up in the dictionary, it says happy. But when I think of it, I think it's more than just happy. I think of it like you're it bountiful, you're content, you have, you're full of contentment, you're full of bounty, you're satisfied fully satisfied and um it's so each blessing um is not just 
eked out, it's an abundant blessing and it says it overtakes you. So it's, I think of, you know, I'm driving and, and somebody's driving past me in a car. That's how my blessings are, are not that they're driving past me, leaving me behind and I'm not getting them, but they're so bountiful that I have them, but they're, they go ahead of me, even into my future, you know? So I'm not just blessed now, but also I, I'll be blessed. My blessing carries over into the future and in my future generations. And then we see the different, every possible scenario of blessing poured out here. You know, what are some of the ones that uh, you would want to focus in on? What are some of the promises that would, um, that you're hoping for right now? Um, I guess for me, you know, I'm always thinking about you want, wanting my child, you know, my son to be blessed. So for me, it would be him being blessed and um, my husband being blessed, you know, it would be for my, 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 my family, my extended family to be blessed and for the, the church, the body of Christ to be blessed. You know, those are just any one who has any contact with me, you guys tuning in to be blessed, you know, and um, also my, you know, what I do for a living, my job, when I'm on my job for whatever I touch, whatever I do for it to do well and for my um, income and account. These are the things that um, are just basic needs, you know, things that um, make you feel glad and happy and at peace. If everybody that you love is okay or what you're trying to accomplish to make a living is going well, those are the things that, um, you know, we need and God knows we need them. And so I think that's why these are the things that are picked. And because we're dealing in an agricultural society, you know, it's talking about fox and sheep and rain and things like that um, because of that. But in our time, it would be your investments, you know, your, your um, pension, you know, your 401k. <laughs> and things like that, um, you know, your investments. And then it talks about also um, in verse, is it verse 12, uh, that God opens up the treasure of heaven. So you're even getting, <laughs> you know, I think of fruits of the spirit, you know, <laughs> you're getting a stronger discernment. You have, you know, God's blessing you with, uh, a miraculous gifts of the spirit, spirit of prophecy, you know, uh, just fruits of the spirit that can be of use, use in his kingdom. So just using you abundantly to help people through the gifts of the spirit, bringing witness and testimony to God. But also um, you think of it materially as well, just abundance coming from heaven to you and to your family so that you can be the head and not the tail that you are lending, you are not borrowing. You know, these are rich, encouraging and inspiring blessings. And they're coming from a, the only one who can fulfill them. And that is God. No other person can make this type of guarantee to you and bring it to pass. And so the hope that we have in God is a sure hope and one that we can take comfort in even if you're going through challenges, um, and even if you, um, you know, have setbacks in your in your journey, maybe you know a door got shut or something um, happened. Uh, and again, stressing, abiding in God, you know, remaining in the Lord, um, making making sure that you're in, a, in accordance with His will for your life. And it's not that your human effort is bringing about these blessings. It's God's grace. It's his mercy that gives them to you. But you don't want the enemy to attack you and snatch them because you stepped out of, you know, abiding in the Lord. So you definitely, if you did that, just repent, come back on to the Lord and um, continue in your walk. I hope you're encouraged by these blessings. I sure am reading them out and um, just really uh, reflecting on what God has promised 
to us who are his children. And he is so glad to give it to us. Beloved, have an amazing day. God loves you so much. Take care.